so let's start the chapter weathering the storm in our summer we started this chapter yesterday we were reading about uh, uh, you can say cyclone of real story of uh, cyclone that occurred in odisha so we were reading about that so up to this page we have read that how did he reach there because he spent near about three days on the roof along with his friend's family but now he was not able to control his emotion he was so desperate to go and find out his family and it was very much difficult to uh, cover that path you can see in the pic that how did it uh, how did he cover it he took one of the stick and with the help of that stick he paved his way through that water and on the way it was so drastic that uh, he found so many dead bodies of human beings even animals also okay and he made his way and he came out from that seen so this condition was so pathetic anybody could be moved to see such kind of condition and prashant was the person who experienced this thing in odisha okay and it is a real story uh, so many people died so many animals the whole of the villages they got destructed okay in that uh, cyclone so this real story is given and one of the account of person named prashant is given there how did he face that with lots of courage and what happened actually at last was he able to find out his family or not so this is all about the this is all about given in the chapter okay so as they waded through the waters the scenes they witnessed grew more and more macabre okay so up to that chap up to that paragraph we have read so we are going to start from this passage eventually prashant reached his village kalikuda okay so who is going to read yug you read this yug sharma you read this paragraph eventually prashant reached his village eventually pra prashant reached his village uh, kalikuda his heart went cold when their home once stood there were only uh, remnant rem remnants of its roof some of their belongings were caught uh, managed and twisted in branches of trees just visible above the dark waters young prashant decided to go to the red cross shelter to look for his family among the first people he saw in the crowd was his maternal grandmother weak with hunger she rushed to him her hands outstretched her eyes brimming it was miracle they had long given him up for dead quickly word spread and his extended family gathered around him and hugged him tight in relief prashant and anxiously scanned the uh, motley bat uh, battered group his uh, uh, brother and sister his uncle and aunts they all seemed to be there okay so in this paragraph what is given finally prashant made its way through that water and finally he reached his village what was the name of his village it was kalikuda okay and his heart went cold okay because he was so shocked his heart went cold means he was so shocked to see the condition of his house see uh where his house was now his uh, now only the remnants of his roof were found whole of the house was whole of the house was completely destroyed only some of the you can say remains of the roof were to be seen in that area okay he was able to catch some of his belongings okay and to, these all things were remnants you can say only remaining pieces of its uh, uh, house was 
to be seen and all his belongings belongings means you can say possessions the things which belong to him so bachche write down meaning also only then you will be enjoy the text so write down the meaning belongings belonging means you can say possessions the things which belongs to him okay and after that another word we have is mangled okay so what is the meaning of mangled can anybody tell me yes it is broken okay so when he uh saw so at that time he was able to find out some of his belongings okay but all these belongings which belong to him which were of him all these things were completely broken and they were completely twisting in the branches of trees and that branch of a tree was visible on dark water okay now uh, what was the another decision which was taken by prashant prashant was a young boy so he took a decision that he should now go to red cross shelter to find out his family to search out search his family okay so when he went there there was a lot of crowd in his in that crowd he was able to find his maternal grandmother okay so that maternal grandmother she was so weak because of hunger okay she just ran to him okay and her hands out reached okay so outstretched sorry outstretched means spread out out stretched means spread out it means she spread out her hands in order to hug prashant okay and her eyes brimming brimming means her eyes were filled filled with what brimming means filled with tears filled with tears so what was the condition of grandmother maternal grandmother at that time so her eyes were completely filled with tears and it was just a miracle it was just a wonder for them they had long given him they had long given him up for dead okay because they thought that uh, prashant is no now no more but they were so happy that they have found prashant okay so quickly afterwards what happened quickly words of prayer and his extended family gathered around him so quickly words of prayer it means this news spread in all that area okay and his extended family they were extended family means all the person who were related to that family okay they all gathered around prashant they hugged him okay so tightly because they wanted to console him and prashant actually scanned the motley battered group okay what is the meaning of motley motley is multi colored but you write down meaning then i will be explaining the text to you motley motley means you can say multi colored okay so why multi colored because different different persons were there okay and battered battered you can say broken so he was able to meet brother and sister uncle and aunt okay so they all seem to be there it means there was extended family means all cousins brother sister grandfather grandmother all were you can say of different different age okay uh, they all were there and prashant hugged hugged them okay and it was just a miracle that they all met at one place clear it means he was able to find out 
different different members of his family clear now ramanjit you read next paragraph beta ramanjit laksh is raising his hand okay laksh you want to ask anything or you want to read yes laksh see okay by the next morning as he took in the desperate situation in the shelter he decided to get a grip over himself he sensed the deathly grief settling upon the 2500 strong crowd in the shelter 86 lives were lost in the village all the 96 houses had been washed away it was the fourth day at the shelter so far they had survived on the green coconuts but there was there were too few to go around such a tumult of people prashant all of 19 years decided to step as in as a leader of his village if no one else did he organized a group of youths and elders to jointly pressurize the merchant once again to part with his rights this time the delegation succeeded and re- returned triumphantly wading through the re- re- receding waters with food for the entire shelter no one cared that the rice was already rotting branches from fallen trees were gathered to light a del delcan and slow fire on which to cook the rice for the first time in the four days the survivor at the cyclones task was to organize a team of youth volunteers to clean the shelter of filth urine vomit and floating carcasses and to tend to the wounds and fractures of the many who had been injured ओके नाउ बच्चे व्हाट इज गिवन इन दिस पैराग्राफ सो नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग ओके सो व्हाट डिसीजन वाज टेकन बाय हिम ही टुक इन द डेस्पिरेस्ट सिचुएशन इन द शेल्टर ओके एंड ही डिसाइडेड टू गेट अ ग्रिप ओवर हिमसेल्फ ओके सो नाउ यू कैन से ही वाज इन हिज सेंसेस इफ ही वाज इन हिज सेंसेस यू कैन से ही थॉट दैट ही वाज इन अ वेरी a desperate situation this situation was really desperate very bad situation he was and he was there in the shelter but he thought that he should now take a major decision and he should control on his emotion okay because whatever the news he was getting it was it can shake any of the person and moreover prashant was so young okay so it was just like a you can say shock for him okay and near about 2500 persons took a shelter in that uh, place okay and from that data it was given near about 86 people were lost in that village that their identity was not found they were uh, dead or they were uh, you can say where were they so it was not able to be found and 96 houses they were completely washed away even their dead bodies were not able to be found because in 96 houses there could be so many members family members so 96 houses they were completely washed away those houses were completely destroyed and it they were living in that shelter all people who were left they were living in that shelter and it was basically fourth day okay and what was going on they had to survive on only green coconut okay because there were too few to go around such a tumult of people because it was very difficult for them to go because of that noise of people it was very difficult to go from there to find out near and dear okay so prashant he was young boy his age was near about 19 years okay so he thought that now he should take a step and he should do something as a leader of his village because when he was able to find out some of the family members he got courage okay and he was young so enthusiastic so he took a very major decision that nobody was having a gap nobody was having a courage to go from that crowd and search for his family members as prashant has did this prashant has done this so he took a decision he thought that he should take a initiative okay because no one 
else will uh, do and noble no one else has done this so whatever he do it is really praiseworthy so as a boy of 19 years he was not sitting idle in that large crowd whatever he do he will be uh, shocked to know you will be surprised to know that he organized he beca became first of all a leader okay and he made a group of some of the youngsters and elders okay and he told them that we should pressurize the merchants once again to give them some of the rice okay so this time this group went and they won and they came with victory why so because they were able to find out rice because they were nothing to eat okay so they were because the water now started receding water started coming down okay and now for the entire shelter because in that shelter near about 2500 people were living there okay so whatever they have got what kind of rice they have got they did not care about that that the rice was already rooting or they were spoiled no problem because they were dying with hunger so whatever the material they got in the form of a rice they were able to eat it okay so branches they collected some of the branches from the fallen trees okay and they lit it and on a slow fire whatever the uh, rice they were having they started cooking it okay so within four you, you uh, they were dying with hunger for last four days okay but now those were able to fill their bellies fill their bellies means bellies means stomach tummy okay so they were able to have food okay after that when first task was organized by prashant to provide them food because they were not able to find out food. They were hungry for last four days. They were not having anything to be eaten. So Prashant with the efforts of elderly people, with the efforts of some of the youngster, he made a group and he brought rice and with the help of branches of trees, they cooked those rice and they have eaten. No doubt the rice were not of good quality. They were rotten, but no problem. They were able to fill their tummies okay so now there was a next task what was the next task to organize a team of youth so that they can clean the shelter where they were living because it was full of filth urine vomit floating carcasses i know i think you will be knowing the meaning of filth urine vomit floating carcasses carcasses dead bodies okay and there were so many people who had been injured there were injuries there were fractures on their body so next task was to clean the area where they were living to clean their you can say filth and uh, uh, all the uh, dirt which was in their surrounding okay so that was next task which was which initiative was taken by prashant at that time so they started cleaning that area so that people could survive there so it was basically fifth day and on fifth day what happened now let's read about this text who is going to read uh, any of the child can read any of the child Who is going to read? Aparan, you read this paragraph. Aparan, you read this paragraph better. Yes, ma'am. On the fifth day, a military helicopter flew over the shelter and dropped some food parcels. It then did not return. The youth task force gathered empty utensils from the shelter then they deputed the children to lie in the sand left by waters around the shelter with these utensils on their stomachs to communicate to the passing helicopters that they were hungry. The message got through and after that the helicopter made regular rounds of the shelter 
air dropping food and other basic needs see how pathetic their condition was see uh, now what happened it was basically fifth day one of the helicopter military helicopter it was flying over the shelter and it was dropping some of the food parcels okay but after that it was not returning okay so what was the next task which was taken by them the next youth task okay they gather some of the empty utensils on that shelter there were some of the empty shelters okay so their organization what did they do they told all the children to lie on the sand and to keep those empty utensils on their stomach so that the people who are in helicopter those persons who were there to help them those volunteers they would come to know that what is their condition so they were able to understand that what signal they were giving in that way that they are hungry so the way they were lying on the uh, ground okay and having uh, uh, empty utensils on their stomach so in this way they came to uh, helicopters people the, the uh, you can say volunteers they came to know that the uh, there is a sign that those people who are in that shelter they are basically hungry so message was given to them in this way okay so in this way the helicopter was making regular rounds and they were providing them food and other basic needs okay so in this way they were able to take they were able to find out food okay now uh, aparan next uh, sorry read next paragraph also who was reading arzu i think or aparan okay renuka you read prashan found that a large number of children had been orphaned he brought them together and put up collection sheet shelter for them women were mobilized to look after them while the men secured food and materials for the shelter okay. now see what happened mute yourself there is lot of disturbance okay so now prashant found one of the fact that in that cyclone so many people got died and so many number of children they had been orphaned orphan means their parents died in that so that's why their children now those children they were having no father no mother okay and uh, what was the next step taken by prashant he brought them all together okay and he put up a polythene sheet shelter for them see you can see in the pic in this way polythene sheet shelter was made by them okay and so many women they were uh, sent there to look after those children because those children were not having father and mother now they were orphaned okay so women were looking after them and men were Uh, securing food keeping food and materials in that shelter to look after those children see how pathetic their condition is it is so touching chapter you can well imagine because it is not a you can say a fictional story it is not a you can say imaginative story it is a real account given in this chapter this really happened in odisha in 1999 it really happened there see how uh, people faced that situation when their family members uh, were you can say their bodies were even not found they were killed there there were so many children who became orphaned who lost their father and mother they became homeless nothing was given Uh, you can say nothing was left with them their complete house was washed away in that water not even a you can say single brick was found there so their condition was so pathetic how did they survive it is really touching chapter one can really feel uh, you can say be moved by reading this chapter okay next renuka you read this 
next paragraph as the week weeks passed yes there is a i think network issue renuka jaslin you can read jaslin khosla you can read yes jaslin you can read beta loneliness prashant's group prashant's group believed orphans should be resettled in their own community itself possibly in new foster families made up of child less widows and children without adult care so uh, the weeks were passing by it means the time was passing by and now prashant was uh, able to recognize that the women and children they were in deep grief why they were in deep grief because they have lost their family members they have lost everything okay so now it was a time to improve their situation so what was the next step that was taken by prashant the next step it was taken by him to persuade the women okay to persuade means to make them angry agree so bachche write down the meaning of persuade persuade means to make them agree so his next task was to make them agree to start working in food for work program and it was started by one of an ngo okay and another that children for children he organized sports event so that when children will be playing sports they will be trying their level best to come out from the grief okay and prashant being a uh, youngster he also really loved uh, to play cricket so he organized cricket matches for children okay so prashant engaged engaged means made other people busy okay so prashant was also busy in that with other volunteers okay he was helping widows he was helping children to pick up broken pieces of their lives okay and uh, how you can say to pick up the broken pieces of their lives it means whatever uh, was lost in that cyclone what was the loss he thought that something should be done with them so that they could do whatever they are having they can do with whatever they are having whatever is left with them they can do with them so you will come to know uh, how he did this you will be surprised to know because first of all there was a government plan to set up an institution for orphans and widows okay so this step was successfully resisted but when this step was taken by government to set up institution for widows and orphans so prashant question was that children would be able to grow with love when children would be kept in those institutions do you think that they would be grow with love and the widows when they would uh, uh be living in such kind of institution would they not suffer from stigma and loneliness okay stigma you can say a bad mark okay they would not suffer with that so what was the next step taken by prashant step was really praiseworthy he thought that these orphans should be resettled in their community where they were living okay and widows childless widows the widows which were not having children they should take care of those children whose parents are now no more 
okay and in this way widows will become busy and they would be taking uh, care of the children and the children now those who have lost their parents they would be getting you can say those mothers and such kind of care would be more you can say comfortable for them so now it was in about 6 months after the devastation of the super cyclone now uh prashant was healing simply because uh he was devoting his whole life for the upliftment of others he was uh you can say devoting his whole life for others and that's why he was lost in others pain and he was not bothered about his own pain okay uh he was so handsome he was so youthful okay and he was so caring loving and when widows and orphan children they were spending time with prashant they were think they were forgetting about their grief and pain and they were lost somewhere you can say they were uh, forgetting about their pain and they were spending their time in that uh, time with prashant because what was prashant doing with with them what was prashant go, uh, doing for them it was really uh, helpful to them to come out from that grief so after 6 months this was their condition so prashant was you can say completely involved with them and he forgot he was not taking care of his own pain that whatever he has lost whatever the devastation he has endured okay so it was really a time of great grief but he was always enthusiastic he was always helpful for others so in this way this super cyclone uh has brought such kind of change in their life okay how did they face that problem how did they come out of their problem this is all about the chapter and a young boy prashant he was not sitting idle at that time he was putting his 100% efforts in order to you can say bring change in their life in order to bring you can say uh, something in their life so that they can cope up with the situation clear beta now this chapter is over and we will be discussing question answers tomorrow so i want my all students should be very much active to participate in the discussion that we will be doing or we will be doing of question answers so now time is running out i'm going to over your class okay students thank you and have a nice day